So today I've got a graphics card that I've gotten out of the trash. I've verified that it works. It's a, kind of an old quadro. And uh, it's running DDR3. And so we're going to basically take this, overclock this, and we're going to have fun time with modding this with a couple of coolers, putting some fans on there, and changing this thing up for the better. And then we're going to try gaming on it using a really crappy old graphics card out of the trash. So without further ado, let's get into it. Check out my engineering skills, guys. We've got a, mo a very, 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 very modded uh, quadra that I've dug out of the trash. And, um, yeah, we're going to do a lot of different things to hopefully get this overclocking. Uh, and then we're going to try overclocking it to play some games on it. It's running 2 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. Uh, so something resembling like a 1050 Ti or 750 Ti um, something along those lines maybe similar probably even a 1050 or a 750 so you're looking at that and that's basically what I've made I've got thermal paste um, here you can kind of get a close-up look on it I've got some uh, thermal paste in between this and the uh, tin or the aluminum heat sink as well here um, and then it's right over the CPU so hopefully this will conduct some heat I've got two sides on this uh, metal uh, or the aluminum heat sink over here so it's a really extended heat sink that has a lot of surface area hopefully it will dissipate some heat pretty well um, I've got some metal uh, reinforcements here so that it, um, some screwed in reinforcements so it's not really going much, uh, really anywhere. And um, yeah, we're gonna see how well this works. So there's a lot of things I have to do. So first off, let me talk about some of the things I have to do uh, before we get into just the overclocking process. So if you're not familiar with Quadros, they do not support factory overclocking, which you're thinking, oh, well, then this video's over, you can't overclock it. That's not necessarily true either. You can really trick the BIOS in some circumstances. We'll have to see how this card turns out. It's an old card, so it's quite possible. You trick the BIOS into thinking it's another card. And by doing so, it allows you to get into Afterburner or something like that and actually start overclocking the card. So technically, there's a good chance that either I can get the card to be read as um, a different card, maybe like a 750 Ti, or I can go through and, well, there's nothing really else I can do. If I can't get it to um, read, then I can't really do much. So this is a Quadro K620, uh, and um, yeah, obviously a small form factor card. But I, if I can't get the BIOS to be read, then uh, as a, a gaming card, then it's kind of game over. So hopefully we're going to see from there. But basically we're going to try to throw this in the system. I know this is going to have GPU sag like crazy. I'm kind of aware of that. But basically this is just going to kind of sit in there. I've got um, two metal. Uh, these are actually screwed in directly into the um, 
heat sink as well. And these are basically with a bunch of zip ties holding it down. These just make sure that the heat sinks stay together. And then we're basically going to sit that in there. I'm aware it's going to be a lot of uh, sagging. And I actually got to probably get something to prop it up so it doesn't do much. Um, but that's basically what we're going to be looking at is a car that looks like that. So let me throw this into a test system. We'll see what we get from there. Then fly to home But if you wanna travel Then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us If I never know Yeah, if you're gonna leave I'ma let you go I'm tired of the pain Go So here you have it, one of the most interesting mods that I've ever done on this channel. And this is a graphics card that has two really thick heat sinks on both the top and the bottom, uh, so that way you get airflow that way. It's also attached directly to the um, uh, original heat sink, which I've actually put thermal paste on there, so hopefully that will conduct as well. And then of course I've got thermal paste in between the top and the bottom, and then I've tightened that up together. Now obviously I'm not like soldering anything or not um, welding anything together, I'm not that good. Uh, but basically we've just got a much la larger uh, area to dissipate heat at and then also I'll probably end up attaching some fans later on if we really need it. Um, so let's actually talk about the process that we're going to do behind this in order to get overclock this Quadro. So if you're not familiar, a Quadro does not allow overclocking. It's a professional grade graphics card. It's not really supposed to be overclocked. It's not really intended to be doing that. Um, but we're going to try overclocking since that's what we got out of the trash. So. Let's see what we're going to do. So first off, I'm going to try flashing the BIOS into something like a 750Ti, something that has 2 gigabytes of DDR3, um, and I'm going to try flashing that so I can overclock it from there. Uh, and then after I flash it, I'm going to try playing a couple games on it, uh, see what we can do, and eventually we'll hopefully, uh, I'm going to try overclocking as much as I can, and then we'll see if we get any results from that. Uh, but basically, we're just going to fake make the graphics card think it's something else. Obviously, there, there's people that do this for, like, you know, crap cards that try to sell it as a higher thing, like some of the scammers online will, you know, fake a graphics card and make it sound like something else, or make it do or look like something else. Uh, which obviously we're not going to be selling this card. This is just something for me to test and I'm pretty sure by the end of this time I'm done with it uh, It will either be broken or unusable. So we'll see how it goes from there um, But basically I've got to get to work on flashing everything getting the system up ready to go And then after that we're going to go play some games on it and see what we get from there. So this is a game called um, Black Squad. It's a uh, really really uh, Not graphically intensive game um so what I've done is I've tricked the BIOS. Uh, let me talk about a couple things. First off, I tricked the BIOS on the graphics card into thinking it was a 710 uh, GT. Uh, it's not allowing me to download Afterburner. It keeps crashing. So sadly, we can't really do too much of the overclocking. Good news though is that the, uh, the clock speeds on the GT uh, or the GT uh, 710 actually are slightly higher than the. Uh, clock speeds on the uh, Quadro K620, so that means that we actually are still overclocking without actually um, having any issue. So I'm going to see if I can move around a little bit real quick, and we're going to just, and so as you can kind of see, it's not that bad, it's still kind of relatively recent, 
I'd say it's probably around 30 FPS because the FPS counter on this is also kind of broken. It just tells me, uh, it just literally gives me an error on the FPS counter. Um, so I would assume there's a couple errors that are, you know, and there, as you can see, there's a couple glitches with this as well. Um, I honestly would say that it's probably around 30 FPS because that's what I can judge, um, which is not that bad. But keep in mind, this is an extremely, like, not graphics intensive game when we're on the lowest setting. Um, and this is at, actually, I think this is at 720, so you can kind of see the problems here. But it, it's running um, right now. It's pretty, pretty dang toast to do the touch. Um, I don't have any fans hooked up. Um, but technically, we've created a, a card uh, specifically designed for, we've, that we've overclocked and uh, managed to play some games on. And by the way, if you're curious why I didn't play Fortnite, Fortnite doesn't support this. It crashes. Um, if you're curious why I didn't play uh, PUBG, uh, it crashes as well. Uh, here's why I didn't play uh, any other game pretty much. It crashed. It's the only game that I actually could get that would load without crashing. So as you can kind of see, it's, it, I mean, it's it's playable without a problem. It's just that it's very, very, um, what would I describe? Uh, difficult to, and I, I don't know if I'd trust the card or not. Because right now it's about 2,000, or maybe about 100 to 200 megahertz faster than what it's overclocked to. I think it's at 1 gigahertz now uh, compared to like the uh, 9,900 that it was supposed to be at for the um, Quadro. So as you can see, it is it has gotten up a little bit, but it's as you can assume, it's not the best. Um, so that's going to wrap it up for... I know, I'm just shooting this guy. Poor dude. I'm just... As you just you can kind of see the like environment, so it's not really anything too fancy. Um, I'll kind of walk around here for you guys. You can't really do much here. And then you see you just die out of the game. Um... But pretty much, it's just kind of a simple test environment just to see that this is really simple graphics that you're, we're still having um, problems with. So, honestly, I'm just going to try playing a little bit. And then, of course, thank you very much for watching. I apologize that I couldn't get Afterburner working on this for some reason. It's really upsetting. Um, but without that, that's pretty much just the, the whole thing right there. I mean, the card's actually pretty toasty. Um, and there's, there was a lot of thermal paste. Oh, and I think we just crashed. Yeah, we just crashed. So, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. So it looks like we actually didn't fry the car. It just shut off because it got too hot, which is not surprising since we've kind of messed with it a lot. Uh, it's running a different BIOS. It's, there's a lot of different things going on in this car, which is interesting. So what did we learn from this? Well, first off, number one, uh, quadros are not meant for gaming. We already kind of knew that. Um, the next thing that I would say is that the BIOS actually did give it a slight performance increase that whether or not that was from because uh, it was a, um, you know, using the gaming drivers or just because it was slightly overclocked at 100 to 200 megahertz, uh, that did make a difference as well. Uh, it just, it really was a kind of a, it was possible, definitely possible, but for something out of the trash and something that, you know, obviously we've kind of modded a little bit, a little bit. Uh, and add a little bit of a cooler on there. I'm sure we could throw some fans on there and keep it a little bit cooler. But uh, and I'm sure a better cooling solution altogether would make a bigger difference as well. It's just an overall, it's a really difficult thing to do. Now, did I enjoy this video? Heck yeah! It was a fun video to make. Um, I actually really enjoyed, um, you know, building this one, uh, doing all the like car, trying to fix all the mounts and stuff, making mounts uh, for all the coolers and stuff. So this was a really cool car to see how it performed. Uh, it was not that difficult, surprisingly, to flash the BIOS, which is also a pretty easy step, um, but also necessary. And then I would say that it's just overall was an interesting kind of fun video to make. Um, so I think this car is just going to get retired to the Hall of Fame that we officially classify as. Uh, it's kind of dead, and I don't want to. I don't trust it for gaming, and obviously Quadra shouldn't be used for gaming. And so if we ever need like or just a random card to you know throw in there just for graphics, and of course that'd be what I'd go for. But that right there is pretty much a graphics card of the trash that we turned into a gaming card. Now, I wouldn't say it's really a gaming card. It's just, it's uh, it's it's what you'd call lowest specs possible, but it's probably equivalent to a GT 720, or 710 actually, and um, yeah, that's about what it's equal to in gaming wise. So as you can assume, the performance was not the best either. If you enjoyed today's modding video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as this was a really fun one to record. And also check out the other videos I do of like Lego computer builds and stuff where I've done like cases and stuff like that. Um, but overall, this was an interesting build. I'm happy with how it turned out. And uh, yeah, this is getting retired because I don't trust this card in here. And I'm, as you can tell, it's off because I don't trust it. Um, but yeah, that was a, it was a fun one, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed this one, and if you want to see more of this stuff, and uh, thank you very much for watching.